It's always good to plant more than you think you need because once winter hits, these are gonna grow very, very slowly in there. You're basically just keeping them alive and harvesting what is there. There's gonna be minimal new growth coming off these plants. All right, it's the end of September. Trees are starting to change color. We haven't had frost here yet, which is pretty weird, but it's coming, that's for sure. Today, I'm getting our greenhouse ready to continue growing food throughout the winter. I've already gone through and added some new compost to all the beds, mainly rabbit bedding and some straw, stuff like that. Other goodies too, that are just packed with nutrients. All just compost and stuff from around the Wilderstead here. And I will show you what we think is the key to having a successful winter greenhouse in zone three. It gets cold here in the winter time, very cold. Often we'll see days on end where it's minus 20, minus 30, lots of snow, and it just sometimes doesn't give up. Sometimes the sun doesn't shine for a couple weeks straight. So what we're gonna do is take some mature and maturing plants out of the garden here and move them up into the greenhouse. This little hoop house has seriously been a game changer for us here because look at the tomatoes over here. So these are just, this is from the cold nights that we've had. And like I said, we haven't had frost, but it has gotten quite cold. And if you compare this to what's in there, huge difference. Tons of tomatoes just starting to ripen up. I don't know how many pounds we're gonna get out of here this year, but it's looking good. Pepper plants, these are all jalapenos. Some of these are starting to ripen up a little bit. That's kind of a demented little jalapeno. Probably be tasty. There's a nice one there. Over on the other side, this is all our cayenne. I don't know, there's probably like a thousand peppers in here. This is what we use to make our hot sauce. Delicious fermented hot sauce. Gonna be a good year for that stuff, that's for sure. The other day, I started by moving some of our pepper plants up into there. I'm going to move a few more plants up into the greenhouse. But for now, we're just letting some of these ripen up outside. Still a lot of green peppers on the plants. Hopefully the frost holds out long enough that these ripen up for us, but we're okay with green peppers too. When it comes to your fruiting plants, like peppers, tomatoes, things like that, you're going to have to be moving these into the greenhouse mature, full of fruit. These aren't gonna start putting more fruit on or not much fruit at all once they're moved in there, just mainly just because of the time of year. It's starting to get colder, the days are getting shorter. So this is one big thing that we have found. Bring mature and maturing plants into the greenhouse if you want to have food all winter long. One thing that is a must have for us in the greenhouse throughout the winter is fresh salad. Nothing beats having fresh salad at your fingertips whenever you want it. Now this stuff, is a little old. This was planted back in May, I think, possibly June. So we're gonna leave this alone and we're gonna head over here. We have these zucchini plants growing and amongst those, some lettuce plants that we planted much later with the intent of moving into the greenhouse. So this is romaine, this is all romaine here. Nice small plants, very young. And we have some oak leaf, purple oak leaf lettuce, and some other purple varieties. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it is tasty. And two other things that if you've seen our past winter greenhouse videos, you already know we love to have in there, is kale and celery. So we're gonna move some of this stuff up there as well, and some Swiss chard in there as well. This stuff's been doing pretty well all summer. So let's get started and I'll show you guys what goes on up there and we'll see the finished planting at the end of the video. All I'm going to do is taking a large enough portion of roots, remove a bunch of these guys, set them in this tray. Dandelions are tasty, but it's not what we want. Don't need a greenhouse full of dandelions. You want to get as much of that root as you can to avoid transplant shock. And then we'll get a bunch of the romaine as well. 
move some of that stuff up there. It's always good to plant more than you think you need because once winter hits, these are gonna grow very, very slowly in there. You're basically just keeping them alive and harvesting what is there. There's gonna be minimal new growth coming off these plants come late December, January and around there. And again, getting as big of a clump as you possibly can. Now I could have started these in the greenhouse, but the problem is, even on a day like today where it's a little cool, it's probably about 10 degrees, inside that greenhouse is hot. That's why we don't grow anything in there over the summer months. We just, we lock it down and that's it until this time of year. That'll be a good start. So this is what the greenhouse is currently looking like. Here are the pepper plants I was talking about that I've already moved in here. See a nice yellow pepper starting to ripen up in there. Forgot to mention, I also moved a couple of our smaller tomato plants in here. Lots of tomatoes on here, lots of green ones, lots of ripe ones. So let's get to planting some of this lettuce. The shortest bed here is what we'll plant the lettuce in. Start with these purple ones. And just kind of spread them all around, make it look a little bit pretty so we have some color in the greenhouse, not just a whole bunch of green. Nice little spattering of purple amongst the romaine lettuce. Now you might want to inspect your plants for bugs and stuff like that. I kind of already did that down there. You just kind of want to look on the leaves underneath. See if you see anything. If you do see stuff, you might want to avoid using those particular plants or give them a good blast of water. Aphids and stuff like that will usually just come off if you spray the plant. Give it a really good spray. Now for the nice romaines. And if you want, you could sprinkle some seeds in here to get started now while these start to take off. Just a little bit of succession planting. I may do that. I may not do that. We'll have to see. But your window is going to be pretty short if you want to get some good germination before we start to lose a lot of that daylight and warmth. So if you do want to do that, get those seeds started in here. Anything you might have left over, just chuck in with the chickens and they will make quick work of it. Okay, not as quick as I thought, but they will eat it. That's the lettuce planted. I may grab a few more plants down there. We'll have to see, but that's the lettuce bed. Let's go down, see what else we can bring up. Let's get started with some of this kale and that should open up some space in here that we'll be able to easily get at some of the celery plants and the Swiss chard. Start with this little guy. Kale's pretty hardy. Anytime I've moved these into the greenhouse, I don't really worry too, too much about what happens to the roots. Pull that out. See, I've barely got any root here, but you'll see in a month or two, probably less than that when I show you guys the greenhouse, growing in the middle of the winter, that it does fine. So I'm just looking for any bugs on the bottom here. I'm not seeing any infestations. There's always going to be a few bugs that come in, but you don't want to bring a plant in that is completely infested with aphids or something like that. Look at that. We already have a Swiss chard that's loosened up. You might as well take it 
I'm going to try and get a little more root ball here. Okay. And again, I'm just checking out, looking for any possible bugs or anything like that. Not really seeing anything. Looks good to me. A couple of the yellow Swiss chards. Bunch of weeds there. I'll pull those out once we get up there. And now we can see some of our celery plants. Our celery in the greenhouse last year did just amazing. Huge, huge ribs in the middle of the winter. So awesome. Then we planted them outside in pots in the spring. They flowered and now we have a nice stash of celery seed. So there's our celery. Now when we harvest celery, we're only taking single ribs at a time. We don't wait for the whole plant to mature. We just harvest as they become ready and gobble it up. So I'll put this guy in the wheelbarrow too. All right, that's a good size load to start with. Move this up and we'll start planting it. See, look, now these guys are mad because I gave those guys some treats. You guys will get some next, don't worry. Let's start with these two kale plants. Put them over on this side. Our soil in here is so nice. Just, it's old potting soil and compost. And we just keep adding to it every year. And it's just become this nice, loose, soft, loamy, nutrient dense paradise for the plants to grow in. So I'm gonna put the shorter of the kales up towards the front here so that this taller one doesn't shade it too much. And I'll probably bring at least one more kale plant to fill in this spot right here. Celery in this bed. It did great in this bed last winter. Let's hope we can have a redo of that. This bed could use a little more soil, but that's okay. Plop you in there. We'll be able to fit a couple more celery plants in here. That's good. I think we had five last year, so probably get two more in. That'll be five for this year. And the Swiss chard, I think I'm just going to plant in various spots around in the greenhouse here. I haven't done Swiss chard in here yet. So that way we don't end up with a full empty bed if the Swiss chard doesn't work out. Lots of stuff planted in here now. And lastly, we'll plant a whole bunch of onions. These are onions we started for seed to plant in the spring, but we just didn't have room for everything that we planted. So we'll just put a bunch of these in all around here. And hopefully, we'll end up having green onions to eat with our salads over the winter. And we still do have a little bit of space, so I probably will bring some other plants up from down in the garden area there. But this is a good start for the end of September for the winter greenhouse. Now I just got to get everything watered in very nicely. I 
And the last thing I'm going to do is give some of these Swiss chards a little bit of a haircut. Mainly just the really big leaves here. Just kind of helps the plant with the transplanting. Less greenery to have to support. And these will start growing again very soon. So that is how we prepare the greenhouse for the winter time. And before I forget, we better give these guys their trees, otherwise they'll be ticked off. <laughs> Little dinosaurs, gotta love it. You'll have to check back in a couple weeks, maybe a month or so, and I'll give an update on how things are going in the greenhouse. I probably will transplant a few more things into there from down in the garden, maybe some more peppers, I don't know. Have to see how quick frost comes and kills everything. Till next time, see ya.